Hosea 14.1-9 through 9. Return, O Israel, to Yahweh your Elohim, for you have stumbled because of your iniquity. Take with you words and return to Yahweh. Say to him, Take away all iniquity, accept what is good, and we will pay with bowls the vows of our lips. Assyria shall not save us. We will not ride on horses, and we will say no more, our Elohim, to the works of our hands. In you the orphan finds mercy. I will heal their apostasy. I will love them freely, for my anger has turned from them. I will be like the dew to Israel. Ye shall blossom like the lily. Ye shall take root like the trees of Lebanon. His shoots shall spread out. His beauty shall be like the olive, and his fragrance like Lebanon. They shall return and dwell beneath my shadow. They shall flourish like the grain. They shall blossom like the vine. Their fame shall be like the wine of Lebanon. O Ephraim, what have I to do with idols? It is I who answer and look after you. I am like an evergreen cypress. From me comes your fruit. Whoever is wise, let him understand these things. Whoever is discerning, let him know them. For the ways of Yahweh are right, and the upright walk in them, but transgressors stumble in them. Joel 2.15-27 Blow the trumpet in Zion, consecrate a fast, call a solemn assembly, gather the people, consecrate the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children, even nursing infants, let the bridegroom leave his room, and the bride her chamber, between the vestibule and the altar, let the priests, the ministers of Yahweh, weep, and say, Spare your people, O Yahweh and make not your heritage a reproach, a byword among the nations. Why should they say among the peoples, Where is their Elohim? Then Yahweh became jealous for his land, and had pity on his people. Yahweh answered and said to his people, Behold, I am sending to you grain, wine and oil, and you will be satisfied, and I will no more make you a reproach among the nations. I will remove the northerner far from you, and drive him into a parched and desolate land, his vanguard into the eastern sea, and his rearguard into the western sea. The stench and foul smell of him will rise, for he has done great things. Fear not, O land, be glad and rejoice, for Yahweh has done great things. Fear not, you beasts of the field, For pastures of the wilderness are green. The tree bears its fruit. The fig tree and vine give their full yield. Be glad, O children of Zion, and rejoice in Yahweh your Elohim, for he has given the early rain for your vindication. He has poured down for you abundant rain, the early and the latter rain as before. The threshing floors shall be full of grain, The vats shall overflow with wine and oil. I will restore to you the years that the swarming locust has eaten, the hopper, the destroyer, and the cutter, my great army which I sent among you. You shall eat in plenty and be satisfied, and praise the name of Yahweh your Elohim, who has dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never again be put to shame. You shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am Yahweh, your Elohim, and there is none else, and my people shall never again be put to shame. Who is an Elohim like you, pardoning iniquity and passing over transgression for the remnant of his inheritance? He does not retain his anger forever, because he delights in steadfast love. He will again have compassion on us. He will tread our iniquities underfoot. He will cast all our sins into the depths of the sea. You will show faithfulness to Jacob and steadfast love to Abraham, as you have sworn to our fathers from the days of old. 
Zechariah 14, 1-21 Behold, a day is coming for Yahweh, when the spoil taken from you will be divided in your midst. For I will gather all the nations against Jerusalem to battle, and the city shall be taken, and the houses plundered, and the women raped. Half of the city shall go out into exile, but the rest of the people shall not be cut off from the city. Then Yahweh will go out, and fight against those nations, as when he fights on a day of battle. On that day his feet shall stand on the Mount of Olives, that lies before Jerusalem on the east, and the Mount of Olives shall be split in two, from east to west, by a very wide valley, so that one half of the mountain shall move northward, and the other half southward. And you shall flee to the valley of my mountains, for the valley of the mountains shall reach to Azal, And you shall flee as you fled from the earthquake in the days of Uzziah, king of Judah. Then Yahweh my Elohim will come, and all the holy ones with him. On that day there shall be no light, cold or frost, and there shall be a unique day, which is known to Yahweh, neither day nor night, but at evening time there shall be light. On that day living waters shall flow out from Jerusalem, half of them to the eastern sea, and half of them to the western sea. It shall continue in summer as in winter. And Yahweh will be king over all the earth. On that day Yahweh will be one, and his name one. The whole land shall be turned into a plain, from Geba to Ramon, south of Jerusalem. But Jerusalem shall remain aloft on its site, from the gate of Benjamin to the place of its former gate, to the corner gate, and from the tower of Hananel to the king's winepresses. And it shall be inhabited, for there shall never again be a decree of utter destruction. Jerusalem shall dwell in security. And this shall be the plague with which Yahweh will strike all the peoples that wage war against Jerusalem. Their flesh will rot while they are still standing on their feet. Their eyes will rot in their sockets, and the tongues will rot in their mouths. And on that day a great panic from Yahweh shall fall on them, so that each will seize the hand of another, and the hand of the one will be raised against the hand of the other. Even Judah will fight at Jerusalem, and the wealth of all the surrounding nations shall be collected, gold, silver and garments in great abundance. And a plague like this plague shall fall on the horses, the mules, the camels, the donkeys, and whatever beasts may be in those camps. Then everyone who survives of all the nations that have come against Jerusalem shall go up year after year to worship the King, Yahweh of hosts, and to keep the feasts of booths. And if any of the families of the earth do not go up to Jerusalem to worship the king, Yahweh of hosts, there will be no rain on them. And if the family of Egypt does not go up and present themselves, then on them there shall be no rain. There shall be the plague with which Yahweh afflicts the nations that do not go up to keep the feast of booths. This shall be the punishment to Egypt, and the punishment to all the nations that do not go up to keep the feast of booths. And on that day, there shall be inscribed on the bells of the horses, Holy to Yahweh. And the pots in the house of Yahweh shall be as the bowls before the altar. And every pot in Jerusalem and Judah shall be holy to Yahweh of hosts, so that all who sacrifice may come and take of them and boil the meat of the sacrifice in them. And there shall no longer be a traitor in the house of Yahweh of hosts on that day.